then comes lightning web runtime and this is something new this uh, was uh, this was not always there but this has enabled experience cloud into something way more better than what it used to be and let me tell you how earlier when we used to create anything onto experience cloud or on anything onto uh, yeah, anything onto experience cloud it used to take a lot of time to load right so the response time of the pages that used to get load were relatively slow uh, but as we talk about digital experiences everything is becoming fast and faster and faster uh, we want the uh, we want the pages to load faster and not just the pages to load faster but the whole digital experience or ho the whole application to work relatively fast and in order to uh, support that salesforce come up with, came up with lightning web runtime and with the help of a, a block diagram i'll be able to not the block diagram but with the help of a diagram uh, i'll be able to explain you what that is so let's look at it uh, you can remove my picture from that so let's talk about the dark blue thing that is uh, at the bottom that's exactly what salesforce crm is everything sales service marketing commerce everything is that on top of it, there is Lightning Web Security. On top of that, there is Lightning Data Service. And on top of it, there is Lightning Web Runtime. And then there is Salesforce Design System. And then there is the experience page that you have created. And then there is the Lightning Web Component that you have embedded into this experience page. Now let's try to understand that how introducing Lightning Web Runtime has improved the performance and the scale of the uh, portals or the communities or the experiences that you're building on top of experience cloud. So with the help of lightning web runtime, what has happened is that inst whenever a user requests a particular page or requests for a particular page earlier, what used to happen was that a page uh, gets like whenever the request was raised to the experience cloud, uh, the page was loaded and uh, the data was collected and after embedding the page as well as the data the page was uh, provided as a response back to the user who has requested that particular page but now with the help of lightning web runtime what has happened is that the page is already loaded and it is and it is stored into the cdn and when it is stored into the cdn whenever the user requests for that particular page whatever page uh, page that you have created into experience cloud and that you you as a user is uh, is requesting that page like is already pre-built is already compiled and that page just picks up the data and like showcases that data that whatever live data that you that that should come with that particular page to you so the response time that was earlier two to three seconds to load a particular page into experience cloud is now almost around 200 to 300 milliseconds. And with that, the, the whole game of experience has leveled up with experience cloud as well. Earlier, a lot of customers used to say that, yeah, it is good, but it's slow. Yeah, it is good, but it's slow. But now it's not anymore the case. And the answer to that is lightning web runtime. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, do you think I missed something? <laughs> you did not miss something, but there are certain things that I would like to highlight from, yes. uh, you know, like from developer's perspective and from, you know, uh, technical perspective. So the capabilities that we get uh, from LWR, you know, as you said, like, you know, the CDN part. So like the data, uh, the content, the complete web components and everything is cached and is stored into CDN and the data is kind of added only uh, in the runtime itself only. But with that, there are certain things that we need to keep in mind when we are doing, you know, development for that. So the uh, website that we would be, so the experience cloud, you know, that we would be creating, we need to ensure like, you know, uh, we have to kind of, you know, publish our changes every time when we are using LWR as compared to Aura. So it's a very technical kind of a thing, but I, st I still wanted to highlight that particular part. And then we get the capability of, you know, LWR where we can use expressions as well. So now you don't have to, let's say you want to, showcase uh, product description onto your uh, page what was the thing what was the ways you can do that either it was a standard component if it wasn't then what you need to do was you had to create a lwc component or a component then then write the logic for the same for bringing that information but now you don't have to do that with lwr you can simply create an html uh, you know not the html but you can simply create a text editor and in that text editor you can simply use expressions where you can specify uh, you know uh, curly braces colon the product dot description and then that would be rendered automatically you don't need to write specific you know uh, components for those 
so we don't have to rely on to those uh, more on to it uh, with and you know lwr uh, we also get the capability of uh, expression based uh, visibility where we can you know specifically choose this component needs to be visible to this particular user based on these criteria earlier we were do we were able to do that but we used to use page variations and audience but now we are not limited to that we can use that as a benefit but it is also kind of a con as well now we have to specify the expression in all the pages where we want to specify earlier it was done via audience and then we would simply apply it to page variation so it's a pro and con thing so like some people might see it as a pro, uh, pro some people might see it as a con so that's uh, depend on that then we have the partial deployment capabilities as well so it do provide the partial deployment capabilities like uh, when you were you know if you have worked on uh, or uh, based communities like the standard communities that salesforce used to provide if you have ever you know retrieved them from uh, so you know salesforce dx the communities were a binary file like you know any changes would be you know like you know a a big file with nothing to understand and you would have to kind of have a bang your head oh man what i did so now you don't have to worry about it uh, so with partial deployments we do get the capability of you know deploying certain specific components and they would be deployed separately and not the complete you know uh, community would be deployed again and again so that's one thing and uh, then uh, lwr has their uh, has its own certain limitations so i talking about the differences between lwr and aura components no no no, no. Okay, not, not not yet not okay. yet i will be coming to them uh, just in a while yeah so there are certain things which are uh, still a limitation of lwr but salesforce is definitely working on it and every time with uh, new release they are adding new features for those so the limitations uh, one of the major limitations is like you know uh, capability of handling right to left language so like arabic language it, it is not able to handle that as of now next up we have the you know the lightning bolt solutions are not supported as of now there are some pre configured standard pages but there are some which are not available so yeah those were certain things that i wanted to kind of discuss about lwr now, now let's we'll talk about the differences between lwr and aura components it's very very dangerous to leave with street with technology <laughs> uh, he can go for all day yes uh, let's talk about the features that are different into aura components and lightning L, uh, and and with lwr the development style uh, with L, with lwr it's more code centric where uh, whereas with aura components it was, it was more about drag and drop and pre built components the performance is better with lwr uh, with aura components it was slower the reusability is better uh, with lightning web uh, components but re uh, the aura components were reusable but uh, was less flexible than lwr uh, reusability out of salesforce is there with lightning web component uh, like with lwr but not was not possible with aura components sorry uh, then the learning curve uh, requires programming and knowledge uh, programming knowledge and skills uh, over there no pro very less programming knowledge was required standard components limited standard components available and with aura components very st like i think the standard components are going to be available because it's like yeah. web uh, components or L lwr thing is relatively new right yeah so they are going to be there sooner or later sooner or later they will be there uh, then comes customization limitations uh, maximum customization for user experience uh, that is there with lwr uh, there is limited customization with aura components then the user experience is way much better uh, because the customization is uh, not limited but over there it's pre packaged and limited